IMSH 2021 Sinventors Showcase. Ready Stick ECMO Cannulation Trainer Proof of Concept Design and Implementation, a Texas Children's Hospital Innovation Project. The presenters are co-owners of the product we are discussing today and we receive royalties on sales. However, our presentation today is not for promotional purposes. Our video demonstration will include final project outcomes, innovation processes, lessons learned, and low-cost video tips on how we achieved our project goals. ECMO is a high-stakes, low-frequency procedure. A needs assessment identified a significant role for a low-cost, realistic ECMO trainer to enable surgical and perfusion teams the ability to perform all steps in ECMO cannulation simulation. Our project involved creating the trainer, piloting it with the survey, and then evaluating and sharing the results. Our team incorporated innovation processes, interdisciplinary collaboration, user feedback, and quality improvement tools. Our proof of concept process included five phases. We created a two-component trainer to include the neck and the heart. The neck is for single use and exhibits anatomically accurate external landmarks, such as the mandible, clavicle, and sternocleidomastoid muscle underneath the skin. During dissection, the platysma, sternocleidomastoid muscle, Internal jugular vein, carotid artery, and vagus nerve are readily identified. The heart is reusable. It is transparent to allow for visualization during cannulation and is also closed loop, connected to a saline bag to provide realistic bleed back so a pulsating pump is not needed. We sought to measure the following with this design. Improve surgical competency and efficiency in cannulation. Improve the same in connecting to the circuit. Incorporate this design into simulation scenarios develop and standardize simulation tools, and produce a skills video to demonstrate all the steps in the process of cannulating and connecting to the circuit. Six pediatric cardiovascular and general surgeons rated the trainer good to very good on effectiveness for practicing VA ECMO cannulation and connection to the ECMO circuit, and all six recommended the trainer for skills validation to their colleagues. The final phase will be to complete our pilot in March 2021 while incorporating the trainer at our institution for educational and simulation purposes. The model is currently for purchase through Sawbones to allow for national and international distribution. In conclusion, the design, development, and implementation of the ReadyStick ECMO cannulation trainer has produced valuable outcomes and opportunities to share our lessons learned. The project demonstrates a multidisciplinary approach to develop novel training opportunities for frontline staff. This realistic, cost-effective trainer partnered with the skills video sets it apart from existing trainers. We feel it has great potential to improve the care of patients at Texas Children's Hospital, in addition to positively impacting learners and patients throughout the United States and abroad. Next, we will highlight the steps taken to design, develop, and implement the ReadyStick ECMO cannulation trainer. There are five phases in the proof of concept development process. Phase one includes discover and validate the need. In this phase, we perform a needs assessment and identify quality improvement goals. We worked with the simulation center, surgery, and perfusion to validate the need. Innovation tip on this process, use content experts and end users during this phase. Start with a small group initially and expand as the project gains momentum. Phase two, investigate currently available or utilized products that will fit the need. Perform an external search with resources such as YouTube, Google, literature search, and manufacturers. Internal search should include content experts. In this case, we use the simulation center, respiratory therapy, surgery, and perfusion. You don't want to create something new if there's already a good solution available. You want to spend some time on this phase and do a good search. New product development takes time, money, and resources. Phase 3, prototype design and fabrication with end user feedback. At this point, you have decided that developing a new product is the best approach. First, let's touch on some tips to successfully develop a new product. Prototypes are helpful in validating your proof of concept and provide hands-on demonstration that helps garner feedback from end users and support from leadership. Start with basic, simple designs first. Garner feedback with small focus groups. Your prototypes do not need to look finished. They just need to give a basic proof of concept to help guide the product toward your design goals. Keep focused on your design and quality improvement goals. 
but be flexible on design changes and listen to user feedback. Especially if you see a consistent theme, you may need to make adjustments. Phase four is new product pilot and survey. We created a red cap survey and we piloted it with CV and general surgery attendings and fellows. Phase five is implement the new design and share your results. Next we will discuss some low cost video tips learned from the project. Our low cost video equipment included a GoPro 7 and a Pixel 3a smartphone for filming. Both of them have 4K filming options. They allow you flexibility to attach to a variety of devices to capture different angles such as a chest mount, head mount, and gimbal. Simulation of the prototypes is a very valuable tool. We use video throughout the entire design process to document test simulations, develop skills videos, and communication design recommendations to Sawbones engineers on each prototype. We found it useful to share the videos through Google Drive or Unlisted on YouTube. Next we will discuss tips of filming for skills training videos. Recommendations for your video team include a narrator, following in the script, a videographer, and one to two experienced staff performing the skills. Prepare and practice your script before filming. Prepare background of your filming set and move objects that should not be in view. Test area and lighting with camera prior to filming. Immediately prior to filming, talk through roles, practice script, and place phones on silence. It is helpful to break up filming into segments that will be edited together later. Narrator recommendations include speaking at 75% speed and over-articulate your words. Allow for short pauses while narrating. These short pauses can be helpful when editing. When mistakes are made while filming, recommend to keep narrating and filming. You can often use these unintentional mistakes for actual teaching points. Take still shots for key teaching points. These can be used for video production. This concludes our presentation on the ReadyStick ECMO cannulation trainer proof of concept. Feel free to connect with us for questions or comments.